Hey friends, Dr. Molly here, and let's talk about frequency medicine and sound therapy and how the body emits sound, light, and vibration, and how it's going to be the cutting wave of the future about how the body can be read, how infectious states, how diseases will eventually be known through the sound and the vibrations and the wavelengths that are given off by the body. Frequency medicine. It is something that is very dear to me because, as you know, all cells vibrate. The cells in your body, the trillions of cells, all vibrate within a certain range. Anything that vibrates creates sound. And this sound is in the form of wavelengths or waves. So movement and vibration creates waves. Now there are certain devices that can pick up on the vibratory pattern of certain cells and can actually take the frequency ranges of that vibration and digitize it. That's what frequency medicine or electronic medicine has a big basis in. So let's say a liver cell vibrates within a certain level. Let's say just for example, 47 microhertz to 52 microhertz. If a normal liver cell is supposed to vibrate within that range, if it goes above that range, you're probably vibrating at too high of a level, which would be inflammation. If you went below it, it would mean that there is stasis or stagnations or low blood flow or low, low lymph flow. What does that mean to you? Well, think about blood levels. If there's a certain range, if you go above out of range, it can tell you that there's something going, going within the blood or if it's below. But in the future, in healthcare, you're going to see that there are many infectious states. There's many conditions that are subclinical. Have you ever heard the adage that you want to live a preventative healthcare lifestyle? because you want to cut things off at the pass. Blood work can normally just give you what's going on presently right now. It can give you indications that something's coming down the wire, coming down uh, the path that could affect you later. But what if you could take the frequencies of the body? What if you could take that transmission of electricity and sound, and as it gives off wavelengths and vibrations from the body, what if you could digitize it with machines or instruments and get an indication of what's going on below the surface. Could it give you an idea of what's hiding within the tissue? And if it's hiding within the tissue and it's too deep within the tissue to be brought to the surface, what are the things that you could use within frequency medicine to help gently pull it to the surface so then that you could find out in blood work and hormonal work? You know as well as I do, if you've suffered from a chronic infection, a chronic disease, such as Lyme disease or parasites, and those infections get cleared out of your blood, but later on you start to have symptomatology, like after a few months, like, wow, I'm starting to get some of the same symptoms again. And the practitioner or the doctor says, well, there's evidence of things coming up in the blood again. Why would that happen? Because there could be hidden pockets. There could be cysts of infections in certain areas of the body, or there could be larvae of parasites. There could be certain infections that are creating a presence, but you didn't have any symptoms during a certain amount of time. But why is it coming to the surface? Because many times they are hiding. They're deep within the tissue. As your body heals, your body's trying to push things from the deep into the surface so you can get it into your bloodstream to eventually be excreted. Now, what if there are devices or what if there are ways to find those very subtle harmonics, those subtle sounds that come from the deep tissue to allow you to know that there's infections hiding within the tissue? Now, there will be instruments and there are instruments out there that do that. Frequency medicine and frequencies of the body can be used to help heal tissue. So I want to give you a quick backdrop of how unique you are because you're going to start seeing where frequencies can actually measure things in our life. Now think about this, an EKG, 
an EEG, an EMG. They measure your heart rate, your brain activity, your muscle contractility, all from electrical flow, all from the electricity and the pulsation of electricity and from the sounds emitted from the tissue and from the organ, right? You get an EKG, you see the small blip, it's measuring the electrical flow in your body. Whenever you find a frequency within the body that's out of its particular range, you can put frequencies back into the body to help create that out of tune frequency to be pulled back into the normal range. It's an influencing frequency. But without getting too difficult or getting too complicated, I want to show you the uniqueness of you when we get talking about how to heal from frequencies. I do biofeedback and frequency medicine in my office all day. I use acupuncture, I use biofeedback devices to measure frequencies that come off the body. And I think it's so unique and so, um, so enlightening, but it's also so exciting to me that the body gives off so many signals and you can read those signals um, from the tissues, from the body, just from the waves that are emitted from it. Now, electrons travel through our body. In Chinese medicine, we have certain pathways that run through the body known as meridians. And these meridians are basically small tubes that run through your connective tissue and they carry electricity, both bipolar, which means both directions. It moves electricity up or down. And these electrical signals have been measured to travel through the small tubes known as meridians, through these lines on this doll, and that traveling of electricity actually goes through the muscles, through the tissues, around the organs to give your organs, your muscles, your tendons, all energy. They give them all energy. And so what that is supposed to do, increase your blood flow and increase your lymph flow. Now, the traveling, is that a great term? The movement of electricity through these areas, the electrons travel through the meridian. Now remember, think about electrons traveling through the wires in your house. When you turn on the switch or flip the switch, you, the light comes on. The electricity that flows through an AC-DC current through a wire actually creates a field. The movement of electrons through a wire will create a vibrational pattern. Does that make sense? Movement of electrons, follow my hand, right through wire. That movement creates vibrations around the wire. If you have enough electrons moving through a wire, in physics what they say happens is you start to create a magnetic field. So you have an electron moving through a wire creating vibration, a field, and it's magnetized, causing an electromagnetic field. And your body has tons of these wires running through your body. Twelve on each side. There's many more meridians that we can even discuss. But you have them on both sides of the body creating a human magnet. Basically, you have this rotation of polaric energy around your body, and it's been emitted. You can use photos such as Curlian photos with a K, where they've measured the actual impulse. They took the voltage from electrical patterns around the body, and they could actually use an x-ray machine to take the pictures of that electrical output of the body. And so you could actually see the electrical patterns around the body. Also, thermographs are good ways to find if there is any electrical output from the body and see if there are, where the heat's the most dominant. There are devices now that can measure the electromagnetic spe uh, spectrum emitted from the body. You can find areas that have low electron uh, emission and others that have high electron emission. Some of the, he the heaviest are in the head, the armpits, down towards the feet and the hands. That's why they sweat the most. So you have this electrical energy creating these waves that come off the body. And now if you can take devices or if you can feel the, the tone, the vibration from that, that field around the body, there will be instruments and they are, there are instruments that can actually measure them and put them into a digital form, like into a numeric form. We can get complicated, but what the beauty of this is, is that you can actually create an out of phase wave. And if you have a wavelength that's going along being emitted from a bacteria or a mold or a virus, you can take signals and flip them over and cancel those signals out. And it can actually, you can actually see bacteria and mold and virus actually dissipate. 
this is how you can use frequency medicine to actually find out what's going on in the body. And now they're finding great devices to actually help clean up infections. I mean, in Canada, they were using ultraviolet spectrum lights to help kill off infections. Pulsed electromagnetic PMF type machines and ultraviolet to help clean up infections. So this movement of electrons create fields. You can measure them off the body. And it's also how electrons work with acupuncture. For instance, if you have electricity going up the liver meridian, and there's a block in that little meridian line, there's a disconnect between the two sides. So you have a blockage, and so the electrons can't flow. So the practitioner, whether you're a massage therapist, a chiropractor, a physical therapist, an acupuncturist, you will rub your hand across that small point where the blockage is at, and if it's built up, the skin texture literally changes. And you'll have a buildup of galvanic skin response, magnetized skin, and you'll feel the pressure change. You'll feel the stickiness of the skin, and you'll feel it, and the practitioner hits the point, and you go, ow, how'd you know that? Because you can feel the change in the voltage of the skin. And if you take a needle or pressure or you do some movements on the muscles and open up that movement again, the electrons pass right through the blockage and start feeding the muscles with blood flow and lymph. And you start to see a relief of pressure and pain because you could feel the pressure of the buildup of that voltage. Now, are there devices? Are there human intuition, like human uh, techniques that actually help you feel those pressure changes and the change in the field? Yes. It's not woo-woo. It's basically showing how waves travel off the body. So when we deep dive into frequency medicine, that's how like homeopathics work. If you have an infection that's creating an imbalance or a wavelength, they create standing waves. So let's say that you have E. coli and E. coli gets into the digestive tract. This is how serious frequencies are. If the frequencies of the infection take camp in your liver or in your gallbladder or somewhere in your body, they will start to create adaptation with your body. The wavelengths emitted from the infections will create a standing wave. They will attach in your organ and your organ gets used to it. So it tries to create homeostasis. It's like, well, I guess I got to live with this if my immune system is not strong enough to clean it out. So it'll have a connecting point. You ever see guys in the gym that take the ropes, guys and girls that this, and they do that rope? Uh, pull and they actually make the rope create a wave and it hits the wall and it comes back to them and they catch it and they do it again to help build strength. It's the same thing that happens with an infection. It will attach itself and create a wavelength that goes to your tissue and your tissue starts to resonate back and they build each other up and they strengthen each other up. And when that occurs, it creates a standing wave. They adapt to each other. But the only way to help break that adaptation is to create, have light or acupuncture or pressure or something to interrupt that, interrupt that wave. You want to interrupt the standing wave. And the future of frequency medicine is that they're going to use lights and different types of frequency machines to interrupt those waves to help separate the infectious diseases from the tissue, which is so amazing to me. I think that there's going to be huge um, movement in this. And even using frequencies to help increase vagal tone in the body and the vagus nerve being increased where it increases parasympathetic and relaxation. They actually put electrical currents in that nerve to help relax the whole body. They're seeing things like uh, neurological conditions being lightened and even going into remission. Certain labs are doing that, like showing me like MS and Parkinson's and things, these things starting to go into remission or the symptoms greatly alleviated. So it's about how to encourage the strength in the body, how to alleviate it, and how to create interrupting waves. So in the future, you're going to find that pulse electromagnetics, you're going to find light sources, and even like sound can be used to heal. This is one of the biggest things I love to talk about because I'm so passionate about it. Um, when we talk about frequency medicine, I want you guys not to think of it as woo-woo. I want you to see it as how light, sound, and vibration is emitted from the body. And if we can measure it, if we can identify it, you can use the same types of frequencies to help heal the body. Guys, I hope this was informative. I wanted to give a quick deep dive and I hope it wasn't confusing. Um, but we're seeing that there's many um, labs, there's many types of clinics out there that are using these different types of technologies to help find the subtle hidden problems within the body that can give your PCP or your doctor, give 
other doctors or healthcare practitioners ideas of what may be going on that may be causing chronic infections or disease or problems within the body. Remember, it's all there to work together to be an adjunct. So guys, look out for frequency medicine in the future. And I want you to see how unique and how subtle your biofield is. Okay. If you guys have any more questions, if you guys want me to go a deeper into this, I can go and talk for an hour on this, but I'm going to keep it really simple and clean. Guys, just make sure that if you know you have vibrations coming off the body and you're around people that have vibrations that are not the best for you, you have to watch out for that too. That's another whole podcast. The vibrations of others can actually attach to you and you guys can amplify each other and actually increase the signal. And if it's a negative emotion or a negative field, it can make you feel another person's problems as well. If you guys want to hear more about that, let me know. Again, this is Dr. Motley. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. We'll talk soon.